Hello, hello everybody. Last time we completed our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Journeys, which means that we now must move on away from the wondrous stories and adventures and into different pastures. Which also means loading up a familiar face. It's been a while since I used this one. Well, since we're not going to be pokemon and up in here, aside from, like, the intermission and, like, st start and end screen music, because these will always be amazing songs. But I decided, just, like, off the top of my head, just randomly, that... I would try a series that I've, like, heard about on and off to a degree, but haven't really, like, I don't know much about it. <laughs> the Dot Hack series. I know next to nothing about them. I think it's mostly, like, kind of a, like, in-universe. It's meant to be, like, a virtual reality MMO, I think, but I have no idea. Do not quote me on that. And of course my PNG tuba model thingy is being mean and not using the proper things. So I have to fix it. I have to fix the expressions. Because the expressions have to be mean. It's weird. Hmm. I don't understand why they break. I thought I fixed them earlier, but apparently they're like, no. So just fix them up right quick. Or else I'll forget. And they'll haunt me forever. Either that or they'll be mean <laughs> and not work e later either. But yeah, I have no idea really much about Dot Hack. I think it's, again, meant to be like an in-universe v super VR MMO. Maybe people are trapped in the game. Or maybe not, I don't know. I, d I do not know the story. I just know that it's, like, decently, like, stretched as a story. Because I think there's, like, an anime. I think there's, like, a manga. I know it got, like, th this stretch of games. Because these are, like, four games, I think. Like, part one, part two, part three, and part four. And then there was, like, a later one, which is hilariously the only one that's been ported to PC. Like, these games, they're locked on the, on the PlayStation 2. But the later ones are more, like, out there, existing. But yeah, I know next to nothing, so they'll be ex interesting to experience. But, enough happy music. We now head into the world that I know nothing about, Dot Hack Infection. <laughs> this isn't Gabriel. It would be hilarious if there was a character named Gabriel in this. Doubt it. Then again, it is kind of like a normal name, but you never know. Yeah, we'll have to see. Because, again, this is decently, like... Like a decent franchise, apparently. Has a lot of moving parts to it. So it'll be interesting to see. You have mail! Apparently it was a virus. Hope it doesn't steal my soul. Interesting. Are we going to the digital world? Not the octagons. Or are they hexagons? Would be hilarious if all my preconceptions 
of this game are just wrong. <laughs> Right. Weird. I have no idea what's going on with this. If we're even meant to be getting any information from this cutscene. That is a skull on a hand. Piano music. Maybe it's meant to mean something. Hey, it's the cat person. That's like the only character I know from these games. I got nothing from that, except there was a weird, like, icon spike that people were being crucified on. No idea at all. But here it is. Dot hack. Ancient... Ancient game to where we are. Adjust screen. Remember when games had that? Let's see. Just check everything out. Rotate view. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Zoom in, zoom out. Interesting. Chat menu? That'd be funny if it was like. <laughs> In universe. I wonder what voiceover. Ah. Ah, interesting. They give me the option for Japanese. Dialogue box is turned on. Why is it called movie text? Isn't that just like uh, closed captions? And I guess that's just like actual <laughs> data load, actual load. But yeah, again, no idea what the story's about. I I. I only think that it's about being stuck in a video game. I know nothing about the story. I only know the purple cat character. But otherwise, nothing. And that that opening cutscene, or like, not really cutscene, but like, opening just kind of flashes of things to come. No idea. So, let's jump on in and then see what we have to experience here. Alright, that's a rock with bandages with runes on it. And it's a floating rock. Yet to return the Shadowed One who quests for the Twilight Dragon. Rumbles the Dark Hearth and Helba, Queen of the Dark, has raised finally her army. Aparon, King of Light, beckons at the base of the rainbow they meet. Interesting. Against the abominable wave together they fight. Alba's lake boils, light's great tree doth fall. Power all now to droplets turned into the temple of Arkenkol and return to nothing, this world of shadowless ones. Never to return, the shadowed one. Quest for the Twilight Dragon, okay. Nice book ending there. Epitaph of Twilight, Emma Wayland. I, I also think that was German. Don't do that game. I thought my game... Everything's going... I don't know, okay. We're logging in. Ultimate operating okay. system? User registration is done. Now for a name. Why does that voice sound familiar? Then again, this is an early 2000s JRPG dub. Entirely possible it's somebody that I've heard before. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. And here I thought that this would be like a old enough JRPG that I'd be able to do some voice acting. Darn. Registration process for Zawaldo is finished. Reconfirming your name and character name. Well, I'm always going to be Neon. I'm not one of those people that gives silly names. Oh. <laughs> I can... User and then. Huh. Oh, I guess that means I could maybe put in my full name. Uh, let me see. Where's the O on this bitch? I'm not used to having so many character spaces. For naming characters. 
I hope I don't have to do this for everybody. That would take forever. And then start from the previous field. Can or turn further. So I guess enter, go to this name. Huh. Oh, I, I, I misnamed my no win icy wings like a fool. So I have to delete all of them. All because I misplaced a thing because my brain is just not working well. Mixing up my name like a fool. I wonder how this is going to translate in. Because I remember when I tried to play uh, Persona 4, I put like Neon Icy Wings. And it did funny things to the layout of the characters calling me by name. Now, what a, do I just want to name myself Neon again? Because it's going to my character name. But then, uh, hmm, I should, I should name my character name, because my username can be my name name, and then my character name should be something different. Kind of, g get into the role playing. My username is Neon Icy Wings, my character name can be whatever I want, even though I usually just put Neon in there. Because I'm, I'm a basic bitch. And also, I'm terrible at, like, making up names. Hmm. You know what? In honor of the boy, let's be Gabriel. In honor of the boy. Hmm. Registering name? Sure. Hello, hello! We are playing a new game because we sadly, sadly ran out of of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon to play. So we're doing something different. <laughs> a game I know next to nothing about. Your registration complete, well, is approved. To start the game, select the Zawaldo from your desktop. Please enjoy Zawaldo. I can't believe Dio made this game. <laughs> so this is like a game inside a game. I'll check my email first. What if I want to check the audio? I'll check my email first. What if I want to check the news? I'll check my email first. Well, I guess we have to check the ma the, the, the email first. <laughs> Corporation version update. The system of Zawardo has been updated to version 2.75. With this update, uh, the following elements have been added. Monster tolerances for a group of monsters. Certain physical magical attacks will cause zero damage because of their defense mechanisms. That's a thing they added in late version 2.0? Elemental hit. Attack with elemental skills that are opposite the monster attribute, and it will result in double two times the damage. Again. A basic thing added in version 2.75? Treasure chest items. You may obtain different items depending on the type of treasure chests. Many items are now available from the Got statue. I guess that, at least that one kind of sounds like a 2.75 update adage. For more details, please see the version update information listed on the board. The CC Corporation. Thank you for registering. This is a notification email to complete the registration process. Can... Oh, I guess technically this isn't a game inside a game, except it kind of feels like game inside a game, because uh, this is our actual email. It would be kind of weird if you signed up for a game and you used the in-game email to register. That'd be like an Ouroboros. Zawardo, the game, is comprised of several servers. The adventurer begins by inputting codes at the Chaos Gates in Root Towns, which are located in each of the servers. Let me introduce each of the servers in Root Towns. Aqua Capital, Mac Anu, uh, Triangle Server Root Town. Mac Anu means the son of a goddess. There are waterways throughout the town. The sounds and the scenery will bring you peace. Interesting. Highland City, Don Loreg. 
zero server root town. Don Loerg means the Weaver Guardian. It is a city protected by spear sprites. Ah, a Coca-Cola town. With buildings made of rocks coexisting with nature, the wind will challenge the adventurers on their quest. Cultural city, Carmina Gadelica. Um, upward pointing arrow. I, 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 these are meant to be like Alpha Gamma or something, I think, but I have no idea what they're actually meant to be spelled as. Uh, yeah, that silver root town. Carmina Gadelica means the song of the gale. Yeah. It is the metropolis, a fusion of science and traditional cultural knowledge. Aerial city, Fort Uf. Fort Uf means the Fort of Elves. It originated as a fort built in preparation for a war with Carmina Gadelica, but since the peace agreement, it has acted as a watchtower for monsters. Relic city, Lea Fail. I presume it's not meant to be pronounced fail, but... Uh. Lea Fail means the Stone of Destiny. Oh, the, the destiny's gonna fail. Eh. This seems like a great way to do a little tutorial for mechanics that are hidden or difficult to explain through dialogue. That is true, and is a benefit of game within a game, because then they can justify various things. Uh, this city was a holy ground of the Tartarga people before the Great War, but it was destroyed by the Carmina Gadelica forces, which did not like the idea. Please choose them at the Chaos Gate in the Root Town. It is recommended that you play in, uh, yeah, that one while your level is low. So there's Omega Server, Something Server, Something Server, Something Server, and then Aqua Capital, Mac Anu. I have no idea what other, like, Greek letters these are meant to be. And Yoshiko, or Yosuhiko. Hey, did you finish registering? What kind of character are you? Oh, and like I said at school, you'll regret if you use a smart-ass name. I'm Orca in the Zawardo, so keep that in mind. Don't call me by my real name. No doxing in the game in a game. You can be a different person when you're there. Well, more like the guy you want to be. Anyway, I'll be at Root Town. Interesting. Accessory. Orange Blossom, Red Eye, Blue Moon. Okay, that's kind of cute. Clear the game for Volume 1 movies. I cannot change the desktop. <laughs> I want- is this like in-universe? That's actually kind of cool. The news. Let's see. WNC official statement. The World Network Council, that sounds dystopian, announced today that the market penetration of the network OS Ultimate. Ha is it meant to be a play on the alt Ultimate? As in Ultimate, the ultimate life form? Shadow the Hedgehog, sponsored by Ultimate, has reached almost 100% around the globe. Microsoft wishes. This means that all network computers, terminals, and homes or businesses are now compatible with Ultimate. Well, if you're all using the same OS, duh. WNC Public Relations stated that the Pluto Kiss incident of December 2005, that, that was like three years in the future when this game was made, of the two-year period following the incident, commonly known as the Twilight of New Gods, is now only a page in history. What? world are we living is this like in universe or like in the game in universe <laughs> why would it be called twilight of the new gods are there gods in this world <laughs> actually that'd be kind of funny you live in a like a typical shonen world that has all the crazy stuff and you're still playing a video game to escape it all some officials state that after six emotional years of ups and downs, the new generation hypernet plan proposed in April of 2004 has finally been fulfilled. Or I guess we're further in the future compared to 2002. Because six years after 2004, so this is in 2010? 0.49% error rate. I don't know why, but just seeing an, a normal person with a clunky computer, like an actual person, amuses me. 
The sound recognition device has evolved to near perfection with a less than 0.5% error rate. When switched to chat mode, it recognizes the pauses by the speaker and translate them as dot dot dot. The day may come when keyboards are obsolete. Is this meant to have a microphone implementation? I don't think the PlayStation 2 had a microphone accessory. Although I could be wrong. I am a, f I am a fool. Nero Goggle FMD. Sony's announced that it will soon sell a new head-mounted video display, the Nero Goggle FMD. It is customized for the popular CC Corporation game. Is that like, like C Corporation Corporation? Or is it actually like two C words followed by corporation? I, I, it would be amusing if they, it, they actually did that. Like it's meant to be Capital Corporation, but when abbreviated people go, oh yeah, CC Corporation. No. Uh, for the popular CC Corporation game, The Wild, though, retail price has not yet been announced. Man, this is Sword Art Online in it quite a lot, and this came before Sword Art Online. Compatible with the mega popular online game, The World. Lightweight with rainbow eye coating. Rainbow eye coating? What does that even mean? Maximum of 100 hour consecutive use using the CC Iron battery. A hundred hour of consecutive use? In 2011, you are pulling my tits. Zawaldo tops 20 million. I know that in like 2002, that probably sounds insane for an online game, but... God, what are you... What, <laughs> I'm fairly certain there were online games that topped over 20 million in the actual year of two, 2011. Maybe. I could I could see World of Warcraft managing that back then. You know, back before the Dark Ages. Sales of the online role-playing game Zawaldo, CC Corporation December 2007, have exceeded 20 million copies worldwide. The game was the first online game released since the Twilight of the New Gods incident. Is that like an incident in, uh, involving a video game? Or is that like... I feel like I'm missing lore! <laughs> It sold 10 million copies in its first six months and has steadily grown in its sales through various upgrades. I don't know why that sounds unbelievable to me. It sold 10 million copies within its first six months, beginning in 2007. And then, in the current year of 2011, since then it has garnered 10 more millions. Huh. Just seems weird. Reports state that there are, there are around 10 million users in Japan alone. CC Corporation in its press release stated, We are grateful for the support, but also feel there is a social obligation that we must meet. According to a source within CC Corporation, they are considering a submission to the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest selling game in history. Come on, even at the time Tetris was kicking your ass. Probably. New transportation system operational. That is just a street. That feels like the of, of the most American street, too. The real-time transportation control system, RTCS, ended its trial period today and will be fully operational starting tomorrow. It is predicted that chronic traffic jams will be resolved by the system. The system's main feature is the ability to control and adjust traffic lights depending on the situation. It can also predict the best timing at railway stops. When there's a crime, it will turn all traffic lights around the area to red to help prevent the culprit from escaping. I don't think criminals are going to wait for red lights. Of course, it is questionable whether criminals will follow the traffic lights. should have kept reading. <laughs> but at the same time, that will, like, alert people that there's a crime in progress and, I guess, help police officers get there. But isn't there kind of, like, already, well, in the real world already? I feel like there is, like, systems in the real world that kind of do this, but they're more, like, at this time of day, modify the like green light to red light ratio to due to like how congested each road is but i don't know i'm a fool <laughs> fantasy tetris had a game breaking bug i guess <laughs> well i guess zoaldo interesting cyber connect ah so it isn't cyber <laughs> it isn't uh one c word connect it is CyberConnect Company. Hmm. Huh, that's weird. Like, this one says it's 20 and 10. New generation online, the world. 
Huh. All right. I can barely read that. 2001? But this game didn't come out then. What's a skill, Arthur Porn? I was just playing the game. When I talked to the shopkeeper, he said you can use skills by equipping armor and weapons. But what's a skill? Are you a noob? Like, I... I Final Fan is... I don't... Then who knows? Who knows what the Twilight of the Gods incident was that wiped gaming memory from the world? And the ninja knife. <laughs> ninja Kniffy. It's an attack that uses up SP, skill points, during battle. It can damage enemies or cure allies. They don't call it magic because they're not just spells, but moves that are used by swordsmen as well. Interesting. When I changed weapons, I lost a skill. Is there a connection? Maybe I'm just too much of a pro gamer, but this all seems very basic. <laughs> Author Jing. Skills are based on equipment and not characters. So if you change your equipment, you can't use that skill anymore. The skill you lost was probably on your old weapon. Aside from attack power and defense, you should keep skills in mind. Or at least that's a cool idea. Where, like, your equipment is more than just stats. Like, I know that many games have probably done that in the, since this, but still. <laughs> really? I didn't know that, so I sold my old weapon. I thought I just leveled up and learned magic. There's a skill I have learned I have that I can't use. Why is that? One, you don't have enough SP. Two, target isn't in range. It's probably one or the other. There's a range with every skill, so if the target isn't within range, you can't use it. Magic is long range, but attacks are shorter, so you need to get closer. Are there any spells you can cast on all your enemies or allies like other RPGs? If you can't, it would seriously suck when you have to heal your party. Are there any spells that you can cast on all your enemies or allies? I'm guessing he's been like a whole wide range. Interesting that you know that like, like that you know about like skills and stuff from other RPGs, but not this one. Can't infer. They don't have these, but skills of range and range attack are something like that since they are area of effects. If it's an attack spell, it does about half the damage to the enemy around the target, so if you use it wisely, it becomes something very similar. Well, kind of. Healing spells on, all, on allies are similar, so you can heal other members around the target. Interesting. I bought a more expensive armor, but it got weaker against enemy magic attacks. Why is that? Probably because difference between magic and attack. Probably magical defense on the armor is low. From Korm. There's a magical defense and physical defense. Even if your physical defense is high, if your magical defense is low, you can't guard against magic damage. Thank you, Korm. From Hinata. Playing all this this game all the way from the Naruto world. I wasn't looking at armor parameters. Also, there's defense and evade. What's the difference? You should check the parameters of your item. It's probably the first thing you should do. As for defense and evade, defense lessens the damage you receive and evade is the frequency you get hit. Korm. You do know that Suve, Suve Le and Mue Le, Paralysis and Charm, can't be avoided even if you increase magic evasion, right? If you increase the spirit status for curse, sleep, confusion, and charm, and then increase body status for poison, paralysis, and slowdown, it won't decrease damage, but it will decrease the frequency you're affected by those spells. Suve Le and Mue Le. Huh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to remember all this. <laughs> Vaughn. There are things like fire element and skills. Do elements make a difference? There are six elements for skills, items, and monsters. For monsters, there's an icon to the left of its name. There are similar icons uh, in your status screen. Elements have opposing elements, so enemies of fire elements are strong against attacks of fire elements, but weak against attacks... Wait. So enemies with fire elements are strong against attacks with fire elements, so they have good defense against fire element attacks. Got it. <laughs> for some reason, that was weird in my brain but weak against attacks of water elements. It's pretty simple. So if you cast Vakdan on a magical goblin, it doesn't do much damage as another spell. Which elements oppose one another? I know fire and water. Can someone tell me? The following are the opposing elements. By the way, the reasoning is just something I came up with, uh, but I think I'm pretty close. Wood draws nutrients. Earth decomposes trees. Thunder earth lights up. Darkness covers light. Fire boils water, water extinguish. So does that mean that if you use wood on earth, you do two times damage, but if you use earth on wood, you do two times damage? 
I feel like they, they, that just confuses me more. I got plate armor, but I can't equip it. Can long arms equip plate armor? It would be great if they can't. Long arms? Sorry, but you're right. Wave masters can only equip the lightest armor. Twin blades and long arms can't equip heavy armor. Other guys can equip whatever they want. You should probably check for the armor status for that. It all depends on your job class, so you better know which ones you can equip. Interesting. They're too strong from Mad Max. What a beautiful day. The enemies are strong in every single area I've been in. If you put in the keywords randomly, you usually don't get the area that's right for you. You should probably check the board more. Other players will post low-level area keywords. Interesting. Hey, are you forming parties when you go out? The difficulty level varies if you've got friends or go solo. If you've got no friends, well, I can't really help you there. <laughs> By the way, from Quattro. You need member addresses of other players to form parties. A member address is like a business card. You can call up other players in other towns and areas by mail. Just open the menu in a root town and select the player you want. If you want to collect member addresses, all you need is make friends. I would never be able to do that in an actual online game because brain. Aim for the hero of Zeet. Admin of time. Oh, I can't believe Link is in this game. Does everyone know about the Zeet statue? The Zeet statue at the bottom of the dungeon is searching for an adventurer to give the title of honor as the Hero of Zeet. Only way to get that title is to get to the Zeet statue as fast as you can. Those who want the praise of the Zeet statue select Chronicling as your part A at the Chaos Gate. First look uh, for an area with a dungeon close to the entrance, and that doesn't have that many floors. The Hero of Zeet must also be versed in looking for an advantageous area. Is this like an in-universe thing? Like, since it's like select chronicling. Is that a keyword that we can use now? Hero of Zeet ranking. Current Hero of Zeet is as follows. First place, Master Supreme. Player Balmung. Hyper Falcon, Orca. Sonic Hawk, Sieg. Mac Wolf, Highlander. Furious Tiger, Nog. New transportation system. You know the new transportation system called RTCS that starts tr starts tomorrow? I really want to know if traffic jams will be a thing of the past. The other day, it took me two hours to get back to the city from Odaiba. No matter what kind of system they need to reduce the number of cars. I mean, there's too many idiots on the road. Just get rid of them. Mood. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Author. The world, the world has sold 20 million copies worldwide. The first time I experienced the world was two years ago. I still remember how I felt when I first entered the dungeon. I wonder what happened to all those people who helped me out in the beginning. Has anyone used the new goggles they just came out with? I'm pondering about buying one, but someone please tell me what you think. I got some keywords during play and tried them, but I, they don't seem to work. I think the parameters on the Chaos Gate menu are way too strong. Can someone teach me a good way to combine words? Thank you. You really shouldn't worry about the area's parameters in the beginning. Beginners should only be concerned with the level of the area. This is the parameter that sets the difficulty of the level, and the higher it is, the more powerful the monsters are, and the better the items. If you combine words randomly, you might get a really strong enemy and die instantly. When your level is low, you should use words of low difficulty. Here's a sample word for beginners. Bursting, difficulty one. Use this to create a keyword. Interesting. I want to make sure I actually go all the way down. It just had a long ending to it. Interesting. I have no idea what's all this, but I'm glad that I'm reading these. <laughs> I used the word bursting in a part A like Quorm said, but the enemies were too strong and it was game over for me. Why? There was probably a word aside from bursting that set the area level. Uh, where there are more than two jewels in the area levels in the parameter list, in cases like that, the word with the higher priority takes precedence. One in red has higher priority. So maybe use a word aside from bursting was used. So maybe a word aside from bursting was used and set the area level. Sorry, I didn't tell you before. Thank you, Corm. I see so uh, so more than one word can set a particular parameter, but there are parameters that you can't set with any of the words. What about those? What's a grunty? I found this item called root vegetable in the field. It was jumping up and down. I thought it was a monster at first, but when I looked at the key item list, it said food for grunty. So what is this grunty? Something alive? Can someone please tell me? Heh <laughs> I didn't know at first too. Crest, you're probably in that server, right? 
Well, there aren't any Grunties in that one. Grunties are living things in O Server's ranch and kind of look like a mix between a pig and a cow or something like that. Food for Grunty is an item that you can feed them. They don't exist in Blue Server, but if you find any of the food items, you should keep them. They'll come in handy once you get to the other server. A pig. Okay. Well, I'll try to get as many as I can. Yeah, you should collect as many as you can. You can uh, uh, find food for Grunty not only in the fields, but also in the dungeons. So you should keep your eyes open for him. When you get near it, it also goes boing boing. So you can probably tell. Interesting. All right, an extra long one. I've thrown in weapons into the spring of mist that are in the fields, but there are times when the level of the weapon increases or decreases. Is there a reason? I'm not certain, but weather seems to play a role in whether or not a weapon or an armor gets stronger or weaker. When I put a weapon in the grasslands, when it was sunny, it got strong, but when it was raining, it got weaker. I haven't tried armor, so I don't know. Interesting. I'm pretty sure weather is involved, though I don't think it really matters what kind of field you're in. When I tried it at night, both weapons and armor got strong. When it was cloudy, my armor got weaker. But when there was thunder and rain, my armor got stronger. By the way, aren't Grandpa and Monsieur totally annoying? I hate Monsieur. Yeah, it does get annoying. Both of them voice and face. Well, my armor got strong, so I won't complain. By the way, is anyone collecting the Golden Axe? The weapon isn't that strong, right? People do collect it. Someone named Tim wanted to trade for it the other day. And apparently there are a couple more like him, too. Are most of the people who collect the Golden and Silver Axe at high levels? I was asked by... Michino for a tray, but I didn't have it. But if I did, it seems like he would have traded some pretty good items. I think I missed out on a good opportunity there. You only have to throw in unwanted items and armor to get gold and silver axe. I envy those high-level players. They got tons of stuff they don't need. Interesting. Straw Millionaire! Starting with Cat's Blades, and after up trading several times, I got the legendary Megiddo Wand. I never thought I would get something this good. Wow, I want to trade it well and get a good item too. If you have any good tips, please tell me. It's not really a tip, but for example, to a twin blade, the wand for Wave Master is not a very important item, right? But even though it's not important to you, it might be to the other player. So you just have to keep an eye what the other guy wants and offer that item. Oh, and you can only trade three types of, uh, of items and up to 99 of each. Good luck trading. Interesting. What does a symbol do? You know the green things called symbol by the dungeon? Is there some meaning for them? It explodes when you touch it, so I thought it was a trap of some kind. If you touch them, they have a special effect on you, like healing, increasing your strength, etc. Effects are random, so you don't know what you might get. Things on fire in the field are the same. When you find one, just use it. And version upgrade information important. Several new elements were added. Elemental tolerance. If an enemy phase is encountered inside dungeon, there's no one in the party for magic skills, then that enemy cannot be defeated. Always have someone in your party that has magic skills. It is also advised to equip armor with magic skills and scrolls on reserve. Don't forget that warrior type characters can equip Wavemaster's armor. If a monster has a tolerance, it will be displayed on the right side of its name. Magic Tolerance is a monster-specific tolerance that allows them to remain undamaged from a magical skill. If an enemy with Magic Tolerance is encountered inside the dungeon, virtually all attacks by a Wave Master will have no effect. If there is a Wave Master in your party, place him or her on standby and concentrate on recovering party members. If a monster has a Tolerance, it will be displayed on the right side of its name. All of the tolerance explained above can be cancelled by decreasing the status parameter with magic skills and items. For example, cancelling Earth Element Tolerance increases the monster's Earth Element status by using Deck Gans or Stone Bane. Cancelling Water decreases the monster's Water Element status by using Deck Room or Water Bane. Fire Element with using Deck Vox or Fire Bane. Wood Element Deck Juca or Tree Bane. Thunder Element with Deck Rayo or Light Bane. Darkness Element, Deck Anid, or Night Bane. Monsters Defense, Deck Volve, or Knight's Bane. Magic Defense, Deck Korma, or Beast's Bane. Interesting. Elemental Hit is an attack to a monster with an element skill that is opposite to its attribute. At a set probably, at a set probability, damage inflicted is twice the normal amount. Elemental Hit will be displayed. Analyze a monster's attributes and consciously aim for elemental hits to gain advantage in battle. Armor can be changed during battle, so we advise having armor of different elements uh, attributes on reserve to use elemental skills effectively. The element relationship is as follows. So yeah, it's just opposites, not actual... Well, rock, paper, scissor. Hmm. 
For example, if a water elemental skill is used on a monster with fire elemental attribute, elemental hit will occur. And conversely, if a fire elemental skill is used on a monster with water elemental attribute, elemental hit will occur. Interesting. Players cannot receive elemental hits. That's good to know. Based on feedback from the users, we've upgraded the items and treasure boxes. Also, different types of items can be obtained from stationary objects such as jaws, caskets, and other breakable objects. Why would anyone break a casket? Items can be obtained from the following breakable objects, HP recovery, cure, and items of element attribute increases. The area element is related to the element attribute items. There are exceptions. Treasure boxes, mostly magic scrolls. Scrolls relating to the elements are related to the area element. There are exceptions. Risky treasure boxes, armor, weapons, and occasionally SP recovery items. Got statue, viable weapons and armor. A total of three items can be obtained. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll log in now. We did lots of reading. And I feel like I've learned nothing. We're to the triangle server. Aqua capital Mac Anu. Hello, Orca. Why is your face the same color as your shirt? Uh... Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Not you doxed your friend, you fool! Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Emoticon. <laughs> anyway, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Orca's member address. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. The world. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time. As long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Advanced players use Discord. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, select party. Next, select add. Names of players who gave you their member address. He's already level 50. Here. Tons of money. He's going to force me through the game. Choose a player you want to invite to your party and send a flash mail. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. Indeed. Now, press the X button twice to send a flash mail to me. Calling party member. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. See? My name appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. Why do you only have one shoulder pad? I wonder. <laughs> I now wonder. Mail is only available when you're in a town. <laughs> I wonder why he talks like that. When you're in a town. I, that, that makes sense. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. In other words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. Interesting. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members... Basically always a good idea to have allies. You really don't benefit <laughs> if you go solo. Okay. Head off. There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Gate. Sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. It looks like a monocle. Now, press the X button. In the world, each play zone is called an area, determined by a combination of three keywords. Select new keyword. And I can this create is the them. Keyword screen. At the top is the entry plate. You put the three selected keywords one by one for each part. All right. A, B, and C. Left of the entry plate is all the keywords you have. Yep. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. That is kind of interesting. It's kind of ARG-ish. <laughs> In a way, that's kind of neat now, for, as a mechanic. Now, some keywords by starting with part A. Bursting. Select bursting from the list. Good. Next for part B, select passed over. For the last one in part C, select aqua field. Hmm. I wonder, like, which one will take precedence, like all the reds. Now you're done specifying the area. 
Ah, and it lets me know. Battle level threat one with an element of wood. Oh, one more thing. You see the symbol on the left next to the keyword? Yeah. That's the server symbol. It indicates which server you are currently logged on to. This symbol is Delta. Ah, so we're Delta. To the Delta server. Gotcha. Because <laughs> I do not know the Greek alphabet. Omega, Alpha, and stuff. No idea, like, the symbols. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? Yeah. That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. For example, check the field type. See the jewel on the right? Yep, it's red. This means that the field type is being determined by aqua field, the keyword in C. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. Hmm. Well, it does say wood, but that could just be the element and not the actual type. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. Definitely interesting. For more details, check out the board on your own time. I did do that. All right. Let's get going to the Delta Bursting Pastover Aqua Field. Select Warp. Well, let's get... <laughs> It's a very it's a very interesting thing. I wonder how much freedom we'll have to use it or if it will be railroaded a bit. Before we get going, let me explain to you about the camera controls. Shopping. Sure game. Enemies will attack from all directions. The idea is to adjust your view quickly to see your enemy and grasp the situation. That's gaming basics. I'll explain more later, but remember you can only use skills on targets you can see. Definitely makes sense. Basically, if you don't use the camera right, you'll be dead before you know it. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Next, let's zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Also interesting. Try it. Yeah, that's it. Finally, you reset the camera by pushing the R2 button. Neat. There you go. Remember, when the battle starts, constantly adjust your camera. Sure thing. Okay. Now, which now place shall we go field. from all these different the lowest level in the rune area. doors? When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Interesting. Grassland, wilderness, and jungle are some of the field types. You can set them with keywords. The combination of field type and weather determines the area elements. Neat. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element stage. The elements also affect the type of monsters that will appear and the items you can get. Don't worry about it now. As you get used to it, combine words to get different elements. So it does seem like we'll have like Let's get going on our lots course. ability First, to with the keywords. The top right. Why is there like a depressed ghost to the left? You see the red down arrow on it? That's the gate to the dungeon. Do we go to the dungeon? The dungeon's deepest level. There's a god statue that usually holds a rare item. Which would be very nice. Basically, the goal is to reach this statue. But enemies are often tougher down there. So gain some levels above ground before you head below. Got it. Okay, wait a sec. He used the fairy orb. By using the fairy's orb, hidden data on the map becomes visible. Not very Disc. hidden, considering we saw these rune doors with my own eyes. Yellow areas on the map show magic portals, where you encounter monsters and treasures. Ah. I guess we'll. <laughs> Got no. For a basic attack, I do feel like it would be nice to have a little bit more control over this tutorial, but there is a lot going on. By the way, a cursor appears on the target so that you can check its name and hit points. Try using a basic attack to defeat some monsters. It's kicking my ass. Or at least I thought it was. I was looking at its health bar. For some reason, I felt like, oh, this appeared right there. It's my health bar. No, it was its. I'm a fool. Press the triangle button to open the menu and 
select skill. So maybe I do need the slower paced tutorial after all. Okay then. Choose rep from the list. Rep. When the target cursor appears, select the target and press the X button to execute. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? You can target a party member for recovery or remedy skills and the enemy for attack skills. Remember. You can only apply skills to targets within your view. And that's why you have to be super zoomed out. Before using a skill, adjust the camera so that your target comes into view. Well, you must be <laughs> sick of me at this point. Your meta commentary gets you nothing, game. It's your turn to tell me what to do by using chat command. Okay, I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal. All right. Okay, then. Press the square button to open. Next. Go ahead and choose first aid from the menu. Interesting. Very nice. <laughs> Man, you're picky. Well, it's good to be the boss, isn't it? If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When you add new members to the party, try various chat commands to see their effect. Sure That's thing. for now. Just remember what you learned and start exploring. When you think you're ready, we'll head for the dungeon. A bit front-loaded, but... Kind of neat. And it's already dead. <laughs> Battle mode off. So this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Isn't the world fun? All right, very interesting. Very cool. Very interesting. Whenever you want me to So now that we're out of the immediate tutorial zone, kind of interest. It's very interested. <laughs> hey, use first aid. Heals him a lot. Heals me a little bit. Isn't the world fun? Received the op room. Huh. Don't try too hard. Very interesting. A very interesting experience. Wish I could, like, uh, open up the map a bit more. Oh, there's something flying off in the distance. Ah, oh, this is the dungeon. Okay, gotcha. Let's go to the, the ghost face. This is just a slightly odd experience. Yeah, this is one of those things that you can like... The spring has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. But I don't think I have any extra... Like, things... I have a health drink and an antidote. Ah, some resurrections. Mage's soul. Unknown areas on the map are displayed. Because I have amateur blades. And, like, nothing else. So definitely don't want to, like, waste... I don't feel like I am ready to take on the 
dungeon just yet. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I should use more fairy orbs. Because I don't want to get too far away. Ah. I can kind of. So there's... Oh, does the map loop? I think the map loops past a certain point. If that big map thing was any indication. Or like, zoomed out map. It's kind of nice. Cuts down on my fear of wandering. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's much to do here. We got, like, that rune. So I guess after fighting all the monsters... Let's see. Status? We're still level one. But I don't see any other things around. Let me get around all these, like, uh, landmarks. Disarm is a trap on risky treasure boxes. Man, nothing showed up. It just feels like when the game says things in the dungeon are harder, like there would be more to do in this overworld before we went in the dungeon, but it doesn't seem to be. Well, on we go, I guess. It's very now interesting. Now we can start exploring the dungeon. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out. When you're in a dungeon. You cannot escape a dungeon once you're in there. To gate out and return to the town, you have to go back to the field. Makes sense. The Sprite Ocarina <laughs> will warp you to the surface, but you can't use it during battle. Very interesting. This is a treasure box, but you knew that, right? It definitely looks like a treasure chest. You should know that there are two types of treasure boxes. Normal and booby trapped. So is the blue the booby trapped? This I gotta resurrect. Now I have six of them. This one's booby trapped. Notice a different color? Try to open it as is, and you're screwed. Just use the fortune wire on it. This item will disarm the trap. Very neat. See? Now it's safe to open. Press the X button to open it. <laughs> From my Twitch chat, damn this OST takes me back. Can only imagine this. <laughs> Seems like a classic game. It's very interesting so far. Gale Breath. Hmm. What is a Gale Breath? So I can only do rep. But what is a Gale Breath? Ah, it's a scroll. Interesting. I see a door. I see the gate there. It's gonna come down and lock us in, presumably. You're like level fifty. Why are you even scared? Oh, it golem monster and person and motion blur. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? Interesting. And here I, th here I thought that gate would close down on us. Well, obviously it wants us to follow where they're going, so let's go the other way. Out of paranoia. Dungeon. There are rooms with traps everywhere. 
Ja. Alright. In the booby trap room, let's charge on through. Four, it's forty-eight hundred damage, my dude. God. If I was level fifty in that situation, I would oversell things too, so I can experience things more genuinely. Eh, I guess that makes sense. It's better than just dragging somebody along. So basically, our dear friend Orca here is just like, I'm gonna turn myself into a tutorial NPC for my buddy so we can get a more genuine experience without having to worry too much. Definitely understandable, because I remember when I played, like, uh, Warframe for the first time. One of the friends that, like, introduced it to me just dragged me around to high-level areas so I didn't feel like I gotta do much. It's a dead end, that girl. Ooh, speed charm. Isn't it equipped? Probably an equipment. Or is it a key item? I have no idea. <laughs> Grunty food is key item. I want to look through everything. I don't know where it'd be. Ah, speed charm. It's just another scroll. For some reason, I didn't expect it. Need to get used to the... Menu systems. <laughs> you want them to have fun, not watch you one-shot everything. Exactly, especially in an RPG. Then again, he did <laughs> do 4,800 damage to that one goblin. But so far, this is very nice. Not what I was expecting, but we'll have to wait for, like, uh... For the story to kick in. Although it'd be hilarious if you're just playing a game within a game for the entire time. Not to be trapped. Give me another resurrect. So if I die, at least Orca can be there to resurrect me. Are you familiar with this franchise? None at all. The most that I knew was like, this was a game within a game type deal, and that was basically it. Also, I know about the purple cat. Oh, I thought that that was going to be an enemy. I thought it was going to be an enemy, not a trap box. Did not know that trap boxes could come out of portals. This is the room where the statue is. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level, and you can get rare items from it. That statue's not going to come to life and try to murder me, is it? That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure and get back to town, shall we? If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here. But we don't have one. So, <laughs> so things are going to happen on our way so back, we probably. Go back the way we just came. I have now Steel Blades, Rainbow Card, Yellow Candy. Hmm, I wonder if this will help me. It did not. I should have <laughs> paid more attention to things. But I am a fool. Let's see. Cannot be used. Sell it for money or trade. Yellow candy, same thing. Money or trade. Ooh, skills. Tiger claws. Spin like a top and slash at high speed. So we lose Saber Dance, or at least I assume it does, but it is better. And I'm going to have no mana because I opened up a trap box like a fool. Oh, oh, okay. 
The game glitched. Hello, lady that was running. Or was the rumor true? What rumor? Orca, are you gonna Please. die? Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. There's no time to explain. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. Your Orca, I am new to this. I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm level one. So she just pawned this off on us to die. Run. It'll kill you. But this is a video game. Well, it's gonna kill you too. A cheater. Well, great. They ha she handed you the book and now you're gonna die. Is this actually gonna be Sword Heart Online? You die in the game, you die in real life. And the book just flew away. Gr Thanks, lady! You just k killed my friend! Alright, a different icon spear has arrived. And it teleported me away. System error, oh boy. <laughs> Aside from the wandering around on the overworld bit, <laughs> that was, <laughs> at least, uh, I, like, I don't even know what to say. Madness, madness, madness. <laughs> this is the grandfather to that genre. I guess that makes sense. I am now the book. My body will be the greatest library. All right. Blindfold on your tits? Sure. I guess what you saved me. With Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? Well, probably because he's probably dead now. I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. Oh, so he is dead. <laughs> and then, the next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. An admin came along, turned on, like, permadeath mode, killed his character, he couldn't take it. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. Considering this dystopian world that I think we're in from reading all the news... Like, the Twilight of the Gods incident and stuff. And the fact that Ultimate is 100% adopted as an operating system. I think we're living in a dystopian world. But I guess it's better this way. What do you mean? I didn't want to see him all week. And he wouldn't want that either. I wouldn't want to be there to emotionally support my friend. But... What the hell happened to him? Like, how is he even connected to the game? And, like, what are we even doing? Because, like, we logged on, we played the game, our character gets teleported away. Did we just log off for the day and be like, Well, <laughs> that's enough playing for me. <laughs> the world sent the Pinkertons. <laughs> yeah, you see, you've got that damn book that you're not supposed to have. Say goodbye to your eyeballs! But interesting. I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. 
Now I'm beginning to think that this game was made by Dio Brando. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have mail. To all users of the world, we apologize for the inconvenience. Due to problems with our servers, currently we are focusing our efforts in finding the cause of the problem. However, in our wo order to pr proceed efficiently, we will limit play to only the Delta and whatever the hell that symbol means servers. Thank you for your understanding. What about news? No news. No new accessories. I guess... Select a place to save. Interesting. So I guess that's just like our save slots. That's cool. Well, let's go back <laughs> into the world. <laughs> Keep in mind, Kite is like 15 and is new to games. Meh. Doesn't seem like there's anything new in the forums. Thank you for visiting the world. All services are currently unavailable due to maintenance. We apologize for any inconvenience and ask you for your patience. But they just said that Delta and the other place were open. I should post on the board about Yasuhiko. Maybe someone will respond to it. Oh, that's cool. My friend is in a coma after playing this game. He's hospitalized and still isn't out yet. But do these things actually happen? Does anyone know the reason? Anyone know someone else in the same state? How can I get him out of the coma? The people who made the game l uh, look here too, right? Please give me some kind of information. Thank you. <laughs> I guess under, like, 15-year-old new to game doesn't know. <laughs> Although it's kind of funny that <laughs> we leaped to, is it possible the game did this? But at the same time, weird things are happening, so who knows? Help. <laughs> This is kind of interesting. Let's see if anything else pops up here. Ah, new mail. Ah, hacker. Oh, it's you! The girl who basically set my friend up to die. Too tall, dick, dick, tall book. It, it is Lochin Fermel. Tea time, oh, time. Please, hal, Thream. Who sent this? I can't read it. I know, well, I know who sent it. I said, help me. <laughs> Sir, we are game devs, not doctors. Well, your, your game made them need a doctor. <laughs> so you have to be a, a, an authority. Ah, now we can log in. Why did you read the British of German accent? No idea. What are you looking for around the chaos gate? There's nothing here. Also, I just lost my only friend in this game. What? What is it? You got something to say? Uh, yes. Why are you being a weirdo here? <laughs> Don't be shy, you can tell me. You're talking way too fast. Listen, in case you're not aware of it, you're being very rude. It's impolite to stare at someone like that. You have to understand it's the same as the real world. Don't you get it? Ugh. I didn't even know your name. Black Rose. Up with you anyway, huh? I'm new to this game. Come on, will you say something already? <laughs> will you say something? Runs away. Didn't even get her friend address. I guess I'll get my gear first. I want to collect some information as well. Interesting. <laughs> I'll trade one hands of storm for ten sports drink. Interesting. Uh, 
I can save your data. Don't forget to stop by often during your adventure. Sure. Very interesting. Stunlocked 15-year-old meets a girl in an MMO in the early 2000s. Well, not early 2000s because I think the date is supposed to be like uh, 2011. From everything I saw. <laughs> Elf's Haven. Up to 99 different types of items can be stored. Up to 99 of each item can be stored. You can withdraw the stored items at any Elf's Haven. Do I have anything here? I do not. But I can store items if I wanted to. But I don't think I care to right now. But I do like that there are, like, people running around that I can randomly talk to. Hi, what level are you? One. Anyway, listen, I always chicken out at the most crucial moments. What's wrong with me? Ah, the item shop. Be prepared! You've got many types of medicine for your health needs. It's common sense to take along plenty of healing medicine. If you have SP recovery medicine, you'll never have to worry about overusing your skills. I have, uh, 10,000 gold. Hmm. I do wish that it would tell me, like, how many of, the, like, each thing I had in my inventory. Let me check my inventory. Hmm. Give it to items. So, I guess we'll have to see, like, the price difference between health drink and healing potion to see if that's worth it. And... Maybe an extra fairy orb because I wasted it in the tutorial land. So, since I can only get health drink here. <laughs> Damn, Orca should have hooked you up gold wise. He probably thought he had more time. He didn't know that he was going to be nuked from the world. Hi there. When I told Lucky that I liked bread, she just said, Oh, what does that mean? It is interesting. There's just a bunch of random people going on here. Hey, I'm a pro when it comes to cats. I hope there's a bunch of them in the world. Hi, right, Black Rose is here. She seems to be like barely, uh, <laughs> like levels higher than me. Ah, oh, the magic shark. Scrolls are one-time use only, but it won't waste SP. It's also good to buy element skills you don't have. Recover target and... Recover target and any nearby members HP by 150. Interesting. Do you want to trade? One hiking gear for five silver axe. You can use special skills by equipping weapons and armor. When you buy equipment, pay attention to the skills as well as the parameters. <laughs> I wonder if they just updated that because of that one... ...like diddly D. Added effect to death? Possible chance of placing an opponent near death. Wow. Plus Saber Dance. Interesting. Now I need to look for Black Rose and see where she ran off to. So what is today? I do like that, like, these NPCs are just running around. I'm gonna need to f see if I can find her. They <laughs> she was right there. I thought she was gonna stay there. But she did not. For I am a fool. Do they sell magic at the magic shop? You again. I'm busy right now. Can't you just leave me alone? 
What a question. Do they sell magic at the magic shop? Tim. I'll trade one ice hunter cap for five golden axe. I'll trade one midnight axe for ten cooked bile. That doesn't seem like a good deal at all. It's too peaceful. So are we just going to live like this? Or are we going to live by our own rules? What does that even mean? I don't think <laughs> the fool air bracer for tin holy sap interesting but everyone just seems to want to trade hey orca are you there hmm you got to store unneeded items <laughs> I guess I shall. Let's see. Oh yeah, the rainbow card and stuff. I should see how much that could sell for, actually. Hmm. I don't know if like these are good for trading at all, and if I'll regret selling them. But I need money now. 7-7 seven, seven cash now. I guess I can look and see about the items and maybe some magic. And then I guess go out to field. Because I think I talked to every, anybody that seems to be of importance. Because it seems like I can use like hmm. <laughs> Added effects. Death. What about phantom blades? Nothing. So, attack four. So, m four, two for attack. Three, two for accuracy. Four, two, four, two. So, assassin definitely seems good. I guess I should probably sell the... Well, actually, I don't know. Because I don't want to just preemptively get rid of, like, any, like, equipment that I'm not going to, I'm not currently using just in case. So, I guess I shall splurge and get Assassin Blade. Apparently everybody wants weapons right now. I didn't mean to talk to you, I meant to buy from you. For all I know, that's the wrong... <laughs> Way to do it. And I didn't even get to use my tiger claw move. I guess I'll go save. And move along. Although I do find it funny that an MMO has a save station. Suddenly, she teleports behind me. Yeah, you. I, uh, I know some interesting keywords. That's a weird way to put it. If you go with me, I'll tell you what they are. Do you want to know? Well, I guess I could use an ally. Going solo probably doesn't seem like the best idea since I am a fool and I opened up a trap chest that spawned in front of me. <laughs> yes, by all means. You're going to annihilate me, are you? <laughs> the keywords are Delta, hidden, forbidden, holy ground. Well, that seems ominous. Whole hidden, forbidden, holy ground. <laughs> Newbie, you say? You are the same level as me. Well, <laughs> you have more experience. So what was it she gave me? Ah, oh, 
Damn it, like hidden something holy ground? Ah, it's right there. Good, good. Level six, lady! <laughs> Am I meant to jump there immediately? I feel like that would annihilate me! Well, I saved. Hmm. Area revealed by Orca for beginners. Because bursting should... <laughs> hmm, level four. Still interesting. Ah, because I need to choose something the like has... Because I don't know if I want to jump straight into a level 6 annihilation zone. In fact, let me see. What's my status? I am not even level 2 yet. Because I did save. Hey, aren't we going to the Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground? Hmm. Well, I guess we could trust the game to annihilate me. I'll quickly save, just so that we... Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I want to save. I want to save. Oh, wait. Darn you. Yes. Yes, save. Not cancel save. Go through with save. Well, let's trust the game to send me off into, uh... Nightmare World. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Unless the game is expecting you to grind a bit before going in, but... Learning experience time! Could be kind of funny, it's just like, here, let's hold your hand through this first section. And now for the second section, <laughs> off you go! Time to drown! Whoa, this place is... Huh? Never mind, let's go. Well, are you going to escort me like a proper gentleman? I'm level one. There's not even a mini-map for this place. That's not good. <laughs> no level 50 to protect you. It's a goblin. Stay back. Oh no. Who how do you even get these keywords? So that's it. Pretty weak, huh? You didn't even do anything. Yeah. You didn't even need my help at all, did you? Is that the lady that was running away, gave the book to my buddy Orca? Who then just got deaded? Scale. Enos. Magus. I can't read anything else. The inscription is faded. By the way. Hmm? Yeah, you're terrible at this game. <laughs> must be pretty obvious by the way I acted back there. Well, at least you didn't open a trap box like I did. But you still hung out with me. You know what? You're nicer than I thought. You still hung out with me. We're still in the single dungeon. See, or, like, level. I'm trying to find... Find what? Are you gonna get annihilated? Hey, what are you doing? What? What about you, huh? Why are you in my secret no lair? Too dangerous here. Oh, hey, another no time to explain. You to get out. Ah, great. The the glitch monsters are here. Oh, uh, uh, here glitch monster with skull hand. Oh. 
And now it has scales. So she must have lost someone to the computer game as well. Am I gonna lose everyone else too? These two people I've barely even met. The book. Open the book. Take a look. It's in a book. The book. Reading Rainbow. The it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. <laughs> From my YouTube chat, hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We're experiencing something new today. Use the installation book. Book of Twilight! Oh, Twilight of the Gods incident? Is that what this is? I use the evil book for power. For revenge! <laughs> and I just... Where did I even go? Not my thigh. Not my other thigh! I'm being- Well, my clothes are being- Digitized. Now I can delete things! Goodbye, computer virus. I steal your virus for myself, I guess. You know, I, I was joking. That was like the, like the time when Orca. And they didn't die. That skill. Now, I understand. Are you gonna try and kill me? You are the same as the virus. To think that I was saved by someone. I only just got this book. No. That's not I don't even know what's Do not lie to me. I didn't even say anything. Recently, many places within the world have been damaged by a virus. Those who willfully spread the virus and destroy this world for their own amusement, they they shall receive no mercy. Inside of this video no, game. That's not me. I did not expect to find the one responsible so soon. Draw! Draw your sword, now! I won't! There is no reason to do that! Again, I only just there got this book! Me. No! I don't want to fight! I just... I... Let me explain! <laughs> what is that walk animation? What is the matter with you? That's hardly the way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Listen to reason. I still do not trust you. I just require the time to think this through. Well, hey, so long as you're not trying to murder me. You are indeed in with them. I will kill you. Like, in the game, outside the game, qualify your statements, winged angel man. That was rather childish for Balmonk of the Azure Sky. The descendant of Fianna. Like, is is he an NPC? Or is he a player? With hackers. <laughs> That's a fun statement. I do not speak with hackers. That boy, he's a friend of your partner. Of Orca? Orca does not seem to look like he's on... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. But I thought you didn't speak to hackers. I thought he would end up like Orca. And... And I panicked. That's when I heard her voice. 
It was the voice of the girl who gave the book to Orca. And then Orca just got nuked. I see. But what are you going to do if the data bug shows up again? Well, I guess use the magical book of doom to annihilate it again. That power put your friend. Um, well, the power didn't. It, the power being used on him did. I don't even know what this power is. Or what she wanted Orca to do. And what am I supposed to do with this power? Become the most elitist hacker. All I want to do is help Orca. Now, this is just making me think of, like, a dot .hack uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth crossover. What with the digital coma thing. <laughs> I do not speak with hackers, turns away and refuses to elaborate. Well, exactly. Well, I... Because you're also a part of this, too, Black Rose, because you're a newbie. You know next to nothing about this game, it seems, but you did know an advanced keyword and seemed to know about the virus to a degree because you were just like as if it did something to somebody you know. Maybe you're an investigative journalist. Today was... Um... I don't know what to say, but... Good night. That was, I do find it kind of funny that we just went in there for a cutscene. And things just went fast. Dot Hack Signs was a good anime. Like, yeah, I know this game is like, uh, or like, Dot Hack is a anime game manga thing. But I have no idea. Like,. Anything else? I just decide, hey, I'm gonna start this game because why not? She is level 100 in Karen, though. <laughs> Let me introduce my cats. Maine, a main ca uh, main coon, and blue, a blue Russian. Creative names, huh? I've heard worse. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, which do you like better, curry or ramen? I actually had ramen recently. It was pretty good. How's it going? Group magazine, cool. You can meet a lot of cool people through something like that. Uh, do you want to trade? I'll trade one Storm Bracer for 10 sports drink. Oh, hey, it's the first person I ever talked to in this game. I'm so bored. La 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 la. What is that song? It goes la 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 la. It's been looping in my head forever, but I can't remember the name of the song. God, I hate when that happens. Although, usually, songs only really slap into my mind when I, like, know that it exists. So I think I'll log out and uh, look at the news and uh, diddly D. Because maybe story. <laughs> Let's play tag! Challenge gob! Hello, everybody. I'm Stephony, uh, Stehony, the Golden Goblin Gob. If you win tag against me, I'll give you a reward. Though the prob that probably won't happen, Gob. Good luck, Gob. Oh, forgot something important, Gob. Stehony is at Detestable Golden Sunny Demon. Come along, Gob. And then coma. Deleted. They did this. The message I posted is it's a conspiracy! I wonder if they'll take action against my account. Let's check the news and the email. News and email. <laughs> the world, oh, for idiots. This volume will go above and beyond the world with strategy tips and advice on how to get the most enjoyment from the game. Good luck. Proceeds to give no advice whatsoever. Oh, hey. Elba, the hacker. I don't really understand it, but I will believe you. 
I'm actually really busy, but I'll help you when I have time, so call me up. Huh. Thanks. Yes. That's neat. Wish I could reply to that one. I've seen your powers. You can rewrite the monster's data by performing data drain when the OK sign is flashing. If you use it wisely, it will be very valuable in the future. You will need its powers. You can check the spread of a gauge by a gauge in the skill selection menu. When the spread is at 100%, there may be a lethal effect on your character, so be aware of the spread of the viral infection. If you defeat monsters without using data drain, then the spread will decrease little by little, so do not let it get above 100%. And another warning, you're always being watched, though you may not wish it. You will be the eye of the storm in the world. That is the fate of the one who bears the bracelet. Prepare yourself. She knows about my bracelet. Who is she? A hacker of the latest kind. I do like that there's like a secondary thing of like logging out to check things. It's actually really neat. That's a cool thing. Logging into the Delta server. I saw a strange character in the alley. It looked like a cat. Is it possible to edit like that? God, I wish. There it is, the one character I know from this oh, yeah, game. I, saw it too. I prefer bunny girls though. <laughs> I'm gonna go recruit me a cat girl. I do find it funny. They're like, we have to show the player where this is. Immediately log, log out. This game takes place the same time as the anime, and the pro tag there has a different kind of bracelet. Hmm. Then maybe I should check out the anime at some point. I didn't know that these, uh, alleyways existed. Or, like, the alleyway. There's only one. Well, yeah, definitely have to check out the anime, then. Because this world seems interesting. And it's the, the grandfather of the dying game, dying real life genre. <laughs> Are you going to attack me? Excuse me. <laughs> me? <laughs> you. Yes, you. Do you already know about my bracelet? Bracelet. <laughs> Can I take a look? Stranger danger. Can you see it? Yes, of course. Do you mean to say you can't see this nice bracelet? Only when I use it. You can't see it. As long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? What is this, philosophy? Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see the bracelet, Mia. Well, thanks a lot for letting me look at your bracelet. I don't think you're evil. It's just the weird music. character design though <laughs> although weird scene <laughs> with weird philosophy even if you can't see it so long as if you know it's there it's about the same as seeing it right huh why can't I have a character like that I still find it hilarious that like as far as I'm aware they have never, like, ported these games to any, like, major, like, modern console. And yet there was, like, a, they made, like, sequel games that got, like, uh, updated and stuff all over the place. <laughs> Bro said that's his cat girl. Back off. Talk to people just in case. I don't even know what pure water is. 
cans of wood for holy sap. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Who names their character in an online game, Tim? But very interesting. <laughs> I wonder how much of a different experience it would be if I, like, watched the anime first. Or if there's, like, a... Like a, uh, what's the word? Like a guide that's out there, like, Hey, if you watch, like, this episode in the anime, then play to this point in the game, you can follow along chronologically. It's been 20 years. They got trapped making Naruto games. Easy profits or risk a dot hat game. That's sad. That's sad. It's kind of like with uh, Spike Chunsoft, where it's kind of like... Because I think they do a lot of things, but right now they're making... Uh, Dragon Ball Sparking, Z uh, Sparking Zero. But have been on like a... a what's the word? Like a... Poor financials for a while. Scraping by. I like how Mio looks. Mio is a good design. Poor Camelot stuck making Mario tennis games over a new Golden Sun. Oof. Because I know Golden Sun is a fan favorite. Is this an event character? Girl! I saw a strange character in the dungeon of expansive haunted Sea of Sand. It was a little girl with long hair, but it didn't look like another player. She was kind of white like a ghost and moved without sound. Oh, and the music might have stopped too. I could be mistaken, but if anyone sees her, please tell. I'm going to assume that this is going to get deleted. Test version of the world. I heard that there was a test version of the world before it came out. Has anyone played it? I tried a random keyword, but a warning message came up and I couldn't go in. I think it was closed oblivion twin hills. Anyone know anything about it? Game over! I just started this game. I formed a three-member party and my friends and then there were all these strong monsters in the dungeon and suddenly it was game over. Aren't the enemies in this game a little strong? Depending on the area, the level of the enemy varies, so you have to find the area that's best suited for you. Area I recommend for beginners is Discovered Primitive Touchstone. Monsters don't vary that much in level, so you won't die too quickly and see that dreadful game over screen. But there's five floors to this dungeon, and the ones on the lower level are pretty strong, so don't uh, just don't go all the way down. You should probably raise your level to at least level five in the upper levels before you go down there. I do like this kind of diegetic, like, hint giving. This is very, very nice. Words for, for beginners. So they just, like, updated this. Highest enemy in Delta is 20, and that server, 30. Interesting. I didn't go all the way down. It's not well known, but areas are divided into six elements. The type of monsters and items and rate of appearance depends on these area, of element, uh, these area elements. Hmm. Very interesting. We'll quickly check my email and stuff before trying to find uh, some gameplay dungeons. Nope, no mail. Back into the world. It's like the old game fax forums, but built in. This is really, really cool. It's very neat. I'll see if Black Rose is available, and we might try that good for beginners thing. Oh, hey, it's these guys. At least I think. No, I think they're different, but they have similar armor. I'll quickly check the alleyway. Why did what? it feels like they just made this alleyway to have a cutscene? Is somebody gonna get sh shanked in this alleyway? This is the alleyway of bad dealings for all the wheelings of the world. But we'll try and call Black Rose, and then. Head to that beginner area. <laughs> That's where you ERP. A 
Hey, Black Rose, you available? Okay. Here I come. A wonderful effort get Orca back. Because... Let's go to this one. It has been forever since we've come to this place. Huh, there's a different icon up ahead that I'm not used to seeing. Ah, a fight orb. Or maybe item orb. Saber dance. This is the first time where I've actually fought actual enemies. And this is a trapped chest, so I want to use a wire. Risky treasure. Nice that it actually tells me. Fortune wire. <laughs> I now have headgear. Headgear, level 3. Not good for Twin Blade, Long Arm, or Wave Master. I wonder, can I... Let's see. Change equipment. Now we already have headgear and you can't change to the other one. Hmm. Let me see. Rip! And then my MP or SP skill points, because it's not all magic, rises slowly. And that's a dungeon because of the red uh, arrow, I believe. Oh, hey, the fire thing. We need to click it. App and No idea what that means. I want to remember. Because. I want to do that, like, data drain thing that they said. Ah, data drain. Data drain. Uh, drain data and decrease level. Effective only on protect break enemies. I'll need to remember that. <laughs> you now have the death. <laughs> what is the death? Poison. Aptorma. I guess before we move on, I should uh, use Repth on Black Rose so she has health since I can get my age thing back. <laughs> I now have the deadly itch, and I can give it to anyone. Long Dennis taught it to me. Ah, another fight, hell yeah. Oh, that had point break. I want to do it. I want to see. Data drain. I want to see what happens. Viral infection has spread. What? Hey, you.
good, it died. No idea what that actually does, though. It said, like, the virus has spread, so... Is that, like, a morality system? I feel like that would be a morality system. Hmm. Uh, well, let me go to my items, because... Uh, key items. Use it to hack gates. Book of a thousand. It could be that I'm just overthinking it, but... It does feel like when it says... The virus has spread, that that's a bad thing. I don't want to do it on every point break enemy. <laughs> Data drain okay. <laughs> or maybe this is just another me overthinking things because when I first played uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I thought that, like, the Way of the Samurai or Way of the Shadow thing was going to be a morality system. It was decidedly not. Well, I have the... <laughs> Slowly, I will become the tank. That's coming out on PC soon. Yeah, the Ghost of Tsushima. What the fuck? I heard a boing. Hello. I'm gonna feed you to some grunties eventually. <laughs> I just didn't expect to hear something say, Sneaky cactus! Oh, I don't want to return to town. I want to skill. I want to heal Black Rose. Because I think I'm level 2 now. Ah, here's the dungeon entrance. Since it's a multi-layer, we can see what it has to give. Well, this is ominous. This is like uh, that one Kingdom Hearts level. Normal chest. Meteor Swarm! I now have burning oil. And another meteor swarm. And a warrior's body. The warrior's body had a... <laughs> had a burning oil. Like the egg. From the Twitch chat. This isn't deaf and noob party. Two DPS, no tanker healer. Well, I just don't have any friends. Ah, fireball, basically. Well, I might as well start to the left. Well, this is just disturbing. I now have the wicked itch. Oh, just a normal chest. Another meteor swarm. It's giving me a lot of meteor swarms and deaths. While showing me a lot of skeletons. <laughs> it is wanting me to use these. Well, we're definitely not going down till we clear these... this place. 
Okay, the destructibles return, but they do not drop again. Neat. I can't believe that this is Jabu Jabu all over again. Alright, there's a summon circle here. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, Valcruz! I can now use Fireball. But Saber Dance, Deadly Moth! Saber Dance! Slightly worrisome there. <laughs> you can use multi-stream chat on OBS if you want to fuse the chats together. Oh, I know that. It's just I don't like, uh... I don't know. Just like having chat appear in the stream isn't just some isn't something that I really think about much. Fire Tempest. I wonder what it means, like, level 1M. And these ones have no. So, speed charm, death, no, nothing. This one is M. Hmm. R wood, S fire, R fire. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Oh, you leveled up and now you have more health than me again. I'm feeling incomplete. Always remember to heal outside of combat. Who needs heals, like, in combat? That's like what potions are for. Then you save skill points. Well, you're a disturbing little thing, aren't you? Get smacked grass. <laughs> Restorative! Bloody egg. Bloody egg. These things just want to be taken and fed to grunties, don't they? Brigandine? What is that? Heavy armor. Because I am a twin blade. You are a heavy blade. So you should be able to... Which means I have to then come here. Change equipment. Or not, I guess. Does that mean you're gonna die soon and they don't want me to give you items? Because it is two and six. Oh, then I guess it. Basically the same. It is literally the same armor. Maybe that's why it's not letting me swap them because it's pointless. Why are there why are there's oil in the eggs? An antidote in the eggs. Why are there eggs inside this body? Why is there a body in the sands? The hanged man, like the card. Paralysis. <laughs> I'm going to paralyze you by hanging you. That's disturbing. Oh, neat. I can... I can cut... <laughs> neat. I can go to items very quickly. But... Hmm. So maybe I should try and use the... Like, I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> it's just the fact that... 
using it said something about the infection spread, but I can use it to, like, like, the cores to open gates. I don't know if it's, like... I don't know. I don't know if it's a hidden morality system or not. I'm worried. More burning oil. And another fire tempest. Just give me a lot of iron. I mean, you did just watch your friend get crucified. True. Oh, wait, no, not reap. Hmm. Saber dance. Get back here, you little munchkin. And then a trap. Need to go to items. And fortune wire. Leather armor. <laughs> I already have leather armor. But yeah, I just, I don't know if, like, when I do it, it's good. And then these are just, like, enemies. If I get a virus core from destroying them. Another bloody egg. Another risky chest. Oh, a leather coat. Not skills. Come down here to antidote. Me. It's good against magic. As opposed to leather armor, which is... So leather coat is very much anti-magic. Right. Yeah, basically, I'm just wondering if this is going to be like uh, another Baldur's Gate 3 situation. Where it's built up like, oh... Don't utilize this mechanic or bad things could happen. And then, like, the worst thing that happens is you might lose some, like, loyalty points from allies. <laughs> the lovers. Is it a spell or is it a card? Not skills, items. Charm, attack allies. And a restorative. Smash all the eggs. Some of them might have items. Smash all the eggs. Watch that be the real morality system. Get to the end of the dungeon. There's a monster there. You smashed all of my eggs! Now I will smash you! The real morality system. They just sent in the mages. That's... That's an even worse party composition than mine. I'm gonna run out of fortune wire. I thought it was going to be an enemy again. Once again, I thought, oh, this will be an enemy. Nope. It's happened again. Save a dance. I need to be careful with those summoning circles. Every single time, I'm just like, eh, it's going to be an enemy. And then it turns out to not be. Hmm, I wonder. No, 
like amateur blades. Oh, so like all amateur blades have the same like uh, effects or like skills attached to them. At least I think they do. Yeah, because they just stack so they're the same. I wanted to make sure that this game wasn't uh, more complex than I initially thought. What level am I by now? I am level three. Huzzah. This uh, menu system reminds me of uh, Tales of Symphonia. I need to play that sometime. It's just that one uh, requires a little bit more planning on my end. And I just wanted to jump into something here. So, jumping into some dot hack. Restorative. Hello, giant moth of doom. Saber dance. <laughs> From my YouTube chat. Dot hack, I believe. I've heard of the series before. However, my knowledge is as much as yours. <laughs> that, that seems to track. It's one of those things that a lot of people have heard about. Like, hey, isn't it like, uh... Like, uh... Uh, Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online <laughs> seems to be like the common newbie assumption. You, you poisoned me, you, you son of a bitch. Quit running. Well, I guess might as well use an antidote. Get 69, goblin boy! <laughs> I, for one, know literally nothing about this series from YouTube chat. <laughs> it is older and doesn't seem to be as prevalent, so that's kind of understandable that not many people would, like, super know about it. Again, I just knew that, like, it had, like, a manga, an anime, and games. And that, like, for some reason, the later, like, sequels to this batch of PS2 games gets ported all over the place. But these old PS2 games are left to rot. So, like, Part 4 Quarantine or whatever is, like, $100 on Amazon. <laughs> did you change the main character's name to Gabriel? That I did. Like, because they gave me your real name and then your in-character name. So I decided, yeah, screw it. <laughs> uh, instead of just being Neon Icy Wings for real name and Neon for in-character name, I figured, uh, why don't I pay homage to the boy Gabriel from, uh, my playthrough of Super Mystery Dungeon that I just did. I really, really enjoyed Super Mystery Dungeon. So I was like, oh, let's use a, f a, a, a fire magic. Holy shit! That did a lot of damage. Fire magic is amazing. More amateur blades. What the? Uh... Let's do it again. You poisoned me again, you stupid goblin fuck. We did it, Gabriel. You're poisoned. Fire against a moth. What everyone wants to do when they run into a bug they don't like. But so far, I am enjoying this game. This experience. I keep getting poisoned by these little bastards. Does it go away eventually?
Burn! Oh, it missed. So maybe I should do my saber dance more. Yeah, saber dance seems to be pretty good for taking down enemies because it like uh, has multiple chances to hit instead of a one and done that you can miss. wasn't much you say we're, we're we're basically dead at least i know in the future <laughs> ah damn that's the first curse of the game gabriel heal me you are closer to death than i am another fortune wire so I definitely need to stock up on fortune wires. And before we head back to the town, I should try and find, uh, that, uh, Baba ba Like that lake we can throw items in. See if I can upgrade some of my weapons and armor that I... I'm not using. I'm gonna walk around a little bit to get my skill points up. So we can use them in this next room if we have to fight. More burning oil. But is it the midnight oil? After we finish this dungeon run, I'll definitely need to log out of the, the world, though. Check my email again and really read what the hacker lady said. Because she's the one that told me that I can use it to do stuff. But spreading the infection doesn't seem like a good thing. I also gotta say, I really like the character art and the character portraits. I have been poisoned yet again. And now we're both poisoned. Let me see. Hmm, designate skill. Calamity. No target in range. But I'll definitely need to remember that I can designate you to do things. Come on. I'm gonna come over here and uh, saber dance this harpy. little man always poisoning me
That is my last one. <laughs> just out of curiosity, does this game have English voices? Indeed, it does. It's just that we uh, haven't been to a, like, uh, a point where there's, uh, like, dialogue in a little bit. I think I'll leave the trap chest for now since I'm out of disarming. And then when like enemies spawn, I need to focus down the casters. I guess I might as well heal you. Yeah. So that you don't get annihilated slightly faster. Ba -ba -da -ba. And we have reached the down, which I believe there's nowhere other rooms to go. And we're both level four. So I think we should be good. It recommends level five for the deeper levels. Spam my skills. From now on, I see a goblin with a staff. I am going to saber dance over him and annihilate him for his existence. On my YouTube chat, does this game have a leveling system? Well, we are leveling up, but it doesn't seem like we actually spend any points or anything. I'll go ahead and heal Black Rose as well. And we'll wait a little bit to get the skill points back so we can spam them on any wayward goblin motherfuckers. Because I don't want to get poisoned again when I don't have any antidotes. We'll get wait for like 18 or 19 and then move along. And I need to spam your calamity as well. Ah, just a chest. You must die. No poisoning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's very bad. I should health drink. That was close. That one almost annihilated me, and it was for a chest that I can't even open. Although I think I can just, like, tank whatever it... But if these things can poison me, I think. Oh, let's risk it. Cursed of gas. But I got fortune wire. And since we got a fortune wire, might as well head back and open up the other one. So it's draining my... So I'm just going to go ahead and use them all. Oh, it's like up, but uh... I wonder if it like, uh... Reset, reset, and it's going to be gone. Or if it'll still be there. Yeah, it looks like it's gone, gone. 
Oh, I should actually check my state to see if what it says. I guess technically it doesn't... <laughs> Interesting. It doesn't tell me what I'm afflicted with. Darn. A status screen that doesn't tell me my status. The downside is I can't use my skill points anymore. I wonder. Restorative. Hmm. Temporarily increases fire element. Rest <laughs> that seems overkill for what we have. I'm going to try restorative, see if that works. It does. Testing things. <laughs> Wait for my skill points to raise back up in case we run into super danger again. I need to remember to open up with Black Rose using a calamity on an enemy that do a massive damage, as well as my items, like my magical spell items. Need to remember that as well. You are far scarier than the bird. The one legged bird, <laughs> chicken hand, or sword of chaos. Oh, the decisions we have to make in life. Yeah, the dungeon delving so far is quite interesting. Ah, damn it, it's two swords of chaoses. Sword of Chaos! Just spam skills! Spam skills! This thing's still alive? I thought you killed it. And I died. Darn. <laughs> and two of these things. A wristband? What's a wristband? <laughs> Juck rum. Generate a tornado with leaves. I wonder what I currently have. So less evade and defense physically, but good to a lot of other things, and gives me a new ability. So I think I'll take that. Honestly, I'll take that trade. I can heal. Do you have auto attacks, or can you control your attacks like the skill attacks? Yeah, I have to press the button eternally for uh, doing a basic attack. This is not Xenoblade Chronicles. If I want to do an attack, I need to press the button. Again, wait for our skill points to rise up. Because we need to spam our skills.
Although I do find it kind of funny that this is like an MMORPG game world and we didn't get to customize our character. Kind of amusing. Rose, designate skill, attack. And now I leveled up. I shall quickly heal myself in case this is another bomb. Oh, damn it. And I'm out of, uh, Antidotes. Time to speed run this. Well, then again, I'm not. I'm not really. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm a fool. I want to click, click, click out of here. Done. Not the top performance for me. Ah, good. You die. And another meteor swarm. Oh, golden egg. <laughs> I would never have known. Hey, eggs. Would you like to give me another antidote like you did on the earlier floors? I don't care about burning oil. Well, health drink is better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> An antidote from it. The game heard my cries of pain. I'll definitely need to stock up on, like, the magical wire to open up trap chests in the future. I mean, there's only so much the PS2 could handle, I guess, in terms of, like, character customization. <laughs> True. It would be cool if more MMOs had that kind of customization as well as console games, but tech was limited back then. Indeed. Ah, great. These things are gonna... Cadet Valkyrie. Sword of Chaos is still scarier. And now, we are the recommended level for this area. Hello, bloody egg. Bloody egg! <laughs> bloody egg. What a weird voice to give an egg. It's like it wants to die. Because I don't think that she uses my items. Like, when I'm down, sure, but I'm not sure. Oh, just a chest. Huzzah. Lots of burning oil. I think it's wanting me to use them for fights, but I'm just not. I'm like, I can do it myself. I'm a strong, independent gamer. Do you have a map of this place? It feels like everything looks the same. Well, like you said, it is a... Very... Simple, like, considering, like, uh... What this game can be, like, uh, the gameplay... I don't think, like, uh, it's that, like, horrible that it's not... Super in-depth with all the environments. This is a singular dungeon that we're delving into. Is that kind of, uh... I'm not even sure if it's a roguelike. Well, let's see. Will I get poisoned again? Aha! Cursed gas? I can easily get rid of that. 
with a restorative that I have a lot of. <laughs> what am I doing, Black Rose? I am taking a gamble. Oh, my bad. There's another treasure chest that I missed in here because I'm a fool. Meteor Swarm. Came out in 2002. Definitely that, like, early years of PlayStation 2. More Fire Tempest. So if there's, like, a boss or anything, I probably should use, like, these Fire Tempests. That's giving me all these of... I guess I'll go ahead and heal you. Wait to get back to 20, and then we'll move along. That way we can annihilate our enemies. But not, not you. Let's see. The Valkyrie scares me. Oh, you definitely scare me. Interesting, I can't designate a skill usage while I'm using a skill. Good to know. If I want my allies to use skills, I need to do it before I do. Amateur Blades. Getting lots of those. Go ahead and heal myself. Yeah. And then heal Black Rose. Oh. I forgot that the Destructibles respawn each room. And again, wait for our skill points to raise back up so that we can spam them against the enemy. The true skill of a gamer. The ability to spam. No one will be able to stop my elite gamer skills. Yeah? What? You want to trade something? You better not give me any junk. And then I can also give you a gift. Interesting. Another restorative. And more burning oil. The moon! I wonder what the gift option is for. Like, what do I get out of it? Or if there's like a... This character likes you this much system. No idea. What was that you said? All dungeon portals are open. Ah, so that was the, fi the final fight. We annihilated all our enemies. The moon! First you take the moon, then you take the moon, then you take the moon. Then I guess the statue shall be in there. God, I just realized this is going to be a long walk back. After we get to the statue. And we don't have to worry about anything because all the portals have been open. Oh, hey! Sprite Ocarina! Guess they figured, hey, we should give this to the player just in case. Well, that's a disturbing statue. Hands of the Earth, Grunt Doll, Yellow Candy. Oh. Huh, 
books. Grunt doll, yellow candy. Hands of the Earth, level 13! Can you use that? Doesn't look like it. I don't even know if I... Like, do I have to give it to you? For you to be able to use it? I do not know. Oh, wait, there was a treasure chest in there? What the fuck? How'd I miss you? And for my YouTube chat, I like the Kingdom Hearts and early Final Fantasy art style. I can kind of see it. I haven't played, uh, like, uh, the other, like, uh, I haven't, aside from Final Fantasy XV and a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO, I haven't played much Final Fantasy. I need to fix that at some point. I was debating on whether I wanted to play Final Fantasy VI, but uh, then my brain overthought it and be like, oh, do I play a translation patch or do I play the good old, like, woolly translation from the SNES? What do I do? And I overthought it and then I decided, no, I'm not going to do that just yet. The gameplay is definitely interesting. It kind of reminds me of Persona 4, but that kind of came out after this game. So there's probably other influences of, like, uh, dungeon delving gameplay that has informed the genre. And I feel like it's the story and world that Dot Hack has been come to be known for. Again, I'll definitely need to watch the anime. Maybe make uh, mini reviews of each episode. Or who knows, maybe I could just, like... Well, I guess I could do that. Make mini reviews of each episode and then release them as a, a single collection. Because... Don't think that I am an interesting enough YouTuber for people to be like, I'm gonna watch this, like, uh, weekly series of this guy watching Dot Hack and giving his thoughts on it. Plus, I don't think that I would make an interesting, like, reaction channel. Especially by the metrics of, uh, the YouTube, because a lot of YouTube people just want to watch, like, a thing through reactors. They don't actually want the reactor to react. They're just like, why do you keep pausing? Because, uh, I'm reacting to give my thoughts to theorize and point out cool things so I don't just end up as, ooh, damn. You know, actually give input. <laughs> the OST is really, really good. From what I've heard of uh, the few songs, they were pretty nice. They didn't stick into my brain much, but then again, it's, it, it takes like very, very, very good songs to stick in my brain. Especially ones with good motifs. Which is why I really, really like Super Mystery Dungeon and uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. The songs there stick in my brain. But for our first dungeon, definitely interesting. Weird that it's a bunch of flesh walls, but hey. Now let's head to the potential thing to throw items into, because why not? Like, I'm not going to throw my assassin blades in. This spring has a strange feel. Let's throw some amateur blades in. Well, that's disturbing. Was it a silver axe? I guess I'll take a golden axe. A golden axe, you say? I wonder what happens if I said neither. Next time. Go 
And gate out. The gameplay is kind of slow paced, I will say. It felt like it was front-loaded with story, and then just came to a halt. We need more antidotes. First things first. We'll sell the grunt doll and the yellow candy. Guess... To get more money. And. Oh, fortune wires are cheap as shit! What the fuck was I doing? I doing very those are cheap as hell. <laughs> I would have picked a silver axe in some games silver is stronger than gold, but maybe it's different with this one. I think with this one, because I read like a the in-universe like forums, and I think they're mostly done for trading, because like uh they're like, oh, high level players like uh really, really like getting, like, the gold and silver axes. So, I don't know. Hmm. I'll just need to, like, experiment with the like lakes to throw things in maybe say neither and he might give me upgraded like item thingies <laughs> there are so many fights going on within my group I wish we could all just get along friend groups do that It wouldn't hurt to stock up on some emergency vat. More antidotes. Restoratives. I think I have enough of that. I guess fortune ocarinas. We'll save again, log out, and check emails and stuff. I like this mechanic. It's fun. You also need to be reminded of, like... Because this is still deleted. Yeah, that one. And the expansive haunted sea of sand. Stahonian detestable golden sunny demon. We'll need to go try those. Well, let's see. Do we have any new email? And or news? Does not look like it. Okay, let me double check because I want to maybe see about playing tag. Detestable Golden Sunny Demon. if I can get Black Rose to join again, because we just lack our boy. Oh. 
All right, Sunny Demon. Level one, so yeah, this one will be very easy. Oh yeah, I have to go alone. Oh, I did not know that. Disband. Sorry for wasting oh, your time. Call me ASAP when you go again. <laughs> Look how bad you bankrupt Black Clue is making her use potions. It's not my fault. Up oh, detestable Golden Sunny Demon. Level one, so it shouldn't be bad. Because I think that's the one thing that's a little weird for me is uh, managing, if you win, like managing you allies' I inventories. That will happen, Defeat the Golden Goblin running in the field. I think I know exactly what to do. I guess uh All right, so definitely not that. Then speed charm. Saber dance. You're easy. I don't think I even needed my speed charm. I now have a goblin cap. Let's see. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else here, but I might as well walk around because there's there's that thing. Not rare. Not for Wave Master. Gives you Curse a target. Interesting. What's my current equipment? Nomad. But that takes away my healing. I'm not going to do that. I'm a speedy boy. I'm a fast boy. You're my power boy. Yeah, but there doesn't seem to be anything here except, like, maybe other hidden little things and these buffs that are only good for these overworlds. So, best to gate out. Hey, it's Wendy Lee's voice. I don't know, like, voice actors by name. I know them by sound. Okay, I want to log out again just to look at the, like, other diddly Ds. Mostly avoid uh, expensive Haunted Sea of Sand for now. Oh yeah, I was also going to look at my email for the uh, hacker lady telling me what my hacker skills do. All right. Rewrite monsters' data by performing data drain. If you use it wisely, it will be very valuable in the future. You will need its powers. You can check the spread by a gauge in the skill selection. When the spread is at 100%, there may be lethal effects, so be aware. If you defeat monsters without using data drain, then the spread will decrease little by little, so do not let it get above. You are always being watched, though. You may not wish it. You'll be the eye in the storm. So it seems more just like a, you can use it, but you don't want to spam it. A use but not spam thing. And then maybe, like, if I use it too much, I might be like, or like, use it, there might be a random chance for people to go, You're a hacker, aren't you? And try to murder me or something. Although I do find it funny... That they're like, I don't talk to hackers. Like, you can just notice them on sight. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to buy from you. I did it again!
huh, temporary increase in movement. So I'm gonna stock up on that a bit. So when I'm very sick of... Mostly that's for running around the overworld to try and... Just speed that process up. Again, why would you name yourself Tim? <laughs> Unless it's just like a reference to the Monty Python bit. There are those who call me... Tim... The music is very nice. Kind of, uh, low-key. I would say. Oh, I can't- I can't add the boy. He's dead. Okay. Word list. Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. Level 10? No. So it looks like uh, we're moving along the story, presumably. I should have probably looked uh, for a way to maybe uh, give you equipment and stuff. Ninja? Hacker ninja? I came after reading the board, but the operator turned me back. I guess we can't play here. Huh. The operator? I don't see no operator. I guess I'll go ahead and use a speed charm so we can run around faster. <laughs> Running around at this. What the? <laughs> oh no, melon. Or is this like a, hey, you need to leave here. If you're here too long, you die thing, maybe. Like, I don't know. There was that ninja guy who was here to for expositional purposes. Oh, I see you. Fine. Data drain, why don't I? Right here in the glitch zone, too. the operators at the dungeon. Okay, there's a thing flying. I can't even really look at it because it's in the sky. But if I end it... It's, every single time one of these things talks, freaks me out. to do that anyway but I will saber dance Fortune wire. <laughs> safety shoes. What are safety shoes? Honestly, it don't don't seem like much.
So I think I have to... Like, uh... Like, either trade it to her, or maybe gift it to her. I'm not sure how that works. What of the game, which is of me. Interesting. So this is how trade works. It basically just tells me... Ah, okay. Then I will just give you the Earth Sword. Oh, wait. First, what I should do is go to your equipment. Or, like, a status? Yeah, status. Steel Blade is a 3-1, while Earth Blade is a 7-2. Then I am definitely going to gift this to you. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, and you equipped it automatically. Cool. need to understand these menu systems. Let me see. Status, because you are a heavy blade. Heavy blade, and you need to be able to... I need to know, like, what you can and can't. One, 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 one. Two, six. One, one. So... You should be able to also wear that. Let me see. Because you currently have rusted hands, which is 2 6. Versus that, which is 3 8. And gives you decreased target and any nearby member's earth element. Hmm. Wasn't there a command to set her gear? Yeah, but it's only if it's in her inventory, it, it seems. Because we can go here, Black Rose, change equipment, but she doesn't have access to our inventory. Only her own inventory, it seems. Which is interesting, but a little hard to make use of. I want to see amateur blades, and I'm going to say neither. Ooh, Phantom Blade. So it pushed them up a level, it seems. Yeah, because level two versus my assassins. The problem is I don't want to throw in anything that I can potentially lose and, like, feel bad about. <coughs> well, might as well try. Can we go into the dungeon? Thank you for playing the world. This area is currently unstable and not functioning properly due to corrupted data configurations. Please return to the field immediately and gate out to the town. No, if I give up now, I'll never be able to help him. I must continue on. So it seems like this is story area. And that's just me. That's the game. Or like, uh, or maybe I should have talked to him or tried to go by. I don't know. This is my, I want to do all the optional stuff. Brain activating. Okay. Well, actually, before I log out. 
because closed oblivious Twin Hills is all it even says. Area known as the protected area, according to the post board. Area on the board where the girl figure was witnessed. So I guess, hmm. Hey, give me them side quests. Exactly. Oh, yeah, because Oblivious Hills is uh, super duper hard. So did we actually? Uh, so I guess we did go here, and it's also closed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, I guess before we go do stuff, I'll go... Like... Primarily just get more resources by selling things I don't need. Also some of these, just because I can. Next time I find, like, a Dilly D, I'll throw some leather armor in. And then buy. Let's see. Because I don't need more of you. A few more restoratives wouldn't hurt. I'll buy one Resurrect to replace the one I lost. One Fairy Orb to replace the one I accidentally used. Then I guess we'll... We'll first save, then do. I don't want to talk to you. With the way that these NPCs move, sometimes I forget that they're not, like, actual people. I just realized with the new, the keyword system, you can just find random things. like any kind of place that could have like secrets there's probably a few that are like actually like have like side quests in them you just need to find the right keywords to unlock them I might have to try and find a list Yeah, it's just the dungeon now, so we'll head back to the dungeon. And press forward. Every time now that I see the name Gabriel, <laughs> because I said it as my character's name, my brain just instantly flashes back to Super Mystery Dungeon. I'm like, oh, love that game. So I guess it's the purpose of, like, giant flying things are scary. Even if they're, I don't think they can fight me. Still scary. But yeah, it's just like, it is the purpose of me, like, naming my character after my, <laughs> the partner from Super Mystery Dungeon of what I named him. But still, it's hitting harder than I expected it to. Please return to the field immediately. How about I say screw you? Oh, not rep. Die, mystical goblin.
stop running. I don't have the... Uh, oh, no, he died. That's why I couldn't. The wicked itch. Fortune wire. So many safety shoes! Also, these game developers aren't that good. They just said an NPC to tell the players, Hey, don't come here. Calamity. And you know what? I'm going to day to drain you because I can. Virus Core A. And then they become this weird little min gremlin thing. Open Sesame. Smack you. I smack you very hard. Higher Tempest. What the fuck? Oh. It's a buff. Most people respect admins, though, because they don't want to get banned. Granted, I don't think that's an admin. I think it's just an NPC they placed there to be like, Hey, this is where you're not meant to be. Leave. And they didn't set anything here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now the eggs once more give the antidotes that I desperately needed. Break of the eggs. But yeah, so far this is very interesting. Kind of slow paced. <laughs> Once you get to the gameplay bit. Because we're probably going to finish this dungeon and then stop because we've been going for over three hours. And I almost didn't notice. I probably wasted the buff with the heals by backtracking. No spells for you. And you still got a spell off too, you jerk. This is why I stacked up on foes. These guys are jerks. I wonder if my heal buff would have counteracted the poison enough that I wouldn't have had to use an antidote. We have the soul of a mage now actually very cheap. It goes on eBay for like five dollars. Then again, if an in-game thing that you could easily trade to anybody else went for five dollars. It's actually pretty expensive. Where's the other one? Using her to find the other enemy that I want to fight. Big brain time. B 
Booyah. Hmm, a steel cap. I doubt I'll be able to wear it. Steel cap for level six. Good against magic and gives rep. So I wonder if, uh, well, sh surely she should be able to do it. Let's see, status. You are level six, so you should be able to. Yeah. I shall gift you this steel cap. Yeah. Uh and now I can tell her to heal now. So now we have two heals. So we have four heals between the two of us. We're not for the fact that the dungeon gave me a permanent heal, apparently. But still, her being able to heal as well will be very, very handy. Alright, designate skill. Calamity against that goblin. I run over here. I saber dance this goblin. And they still managed to poison me before I got out! I ran towards them, murder them immediately. And they still poison me before I can do anything. Pain. Magic goblins are OP. <laughs> also, also, I have to say, like, uh, for an MMO that has sold 20 million copies and have been out for at least four years or so, like, in-universe, I mean, uh, just them going on the, uh, honor system is a little silly. Ah, it's this motherfucker. Data bug? I need to data drain to defeat it! I don't think I'll be able to use it, like, right off the bat, so... Dare you kick me, and then go fast. Hmm. Let me use an item. Let's see. Meteor Swarm! Ah, huh, no I can! Oh, not you. Data Drain! Give me your nuggets! Virus has spread. Co virus core C added. All right, Black Rose, go ahead and uh, heal yourself, and I will. Heal myself. Only 50 experience for it. That voice sounds familiar, but I don't know how. Apparently, I'm elite hacker. I was given the ability to hack the game by someone in the game. Like, not even through outside tools. Through the game, they gave me the tools to hack the game. I, uh... Oh! Did I hit a nerve? Should I keep my mouth shut? I came because I read a post about it on the board and it sounded interesting. But this place looks so weird. Even if the data is corrupted, it's too... 
too weird. Well, anyway, it seems strange things have been happening everywhere in the world. I wonder why it is called the world. Ever Come to think of it. What? Why, damn it. <laughs> Looking back and forth. I burned dinner. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> it's like, because this is an MMO. Oh, well, gotta go. Oh, I almost forgot. It might be to your party next time. Let's do this again, okay? Sure. I wouldn't mind having a healer. I love that. Oh, damn it! I didn't even get the treasure! Damn you! Hey, big bald guy. Or, like, bowl cut guy. Fair eyes. What? Huh? I trust your eyes. I have a favor to ask. <laughs> That's a weird... Okay. Monster in Delta indiscreet gluttonous pilgrimage. Sure. I will vanquish the wicked monster, and I want you to bear witness. <laughs> okay. You will do that for me. Uh well, I guess so. You will? <laughs> I knew you would say that. Oh good. <laughs> I will be waiting for you at Delta Indiscreet Gluttonous Pilgrimage. <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling he's going invi to invite me into some PvP? <sighs> Piros has his own theme music? That'll be interesting. Go ahead and save. I said save, Don you. <laughs> she burned dinner. That's so sad. The saddest thing to happen in the game so far. Gonna quickly log out, check the mail, boards, and e news. Nothing new in the board. Ah, new mail! <laughs> what, what do you do? Uh, do what when you're in your room? Don't just play games, you should go out and work out. You'll get fat! <laughs> How about, what do you, I wish I had like, a, like a grander knowledge of what these would say. How about you? Do you exercise? I bet you're on a team. Sure. No new news. I guess we'll jump back into the, well, I guess we don't have to jump back into the world to save. I'll quickly. My post is still deleted. Bastards. Yeah, this is very interesting. We'll quickly now save down here in data. I do like that there's like two different ways to save. One while you're in game and while one while you're out of game. This is very interesting. But I do believe that that will be it for now. This has been an interesting time. Because I didn't know what to expect going into this. I just knew that it was like an old game within a game kind of thing. Where you're like in an MMO experience. And once again, knew that there was an anime. Knew that there was like a manga. That it was a multimedia franchise thing. But this is interesting. The story is kind of going a bit slow. But at the same time, I did some like... I'm doing a lot of snooping on the board and the news and reading it out loud as well as doing side quests. So I can't blame the game entirely. But that will be that for now. And we will probably uh, start up doing some more on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Since I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Although something might come up on this Saturday that will, will keep me from streaming. But uh, uh, who knows? But, yeah, Dot Hack Infection Part 1 is pretty interesting. The voice acting so far has been decent. 
Like, nothing super duper omega great. But it's not, like, bad, bad readings. They're just kind of, like... They don't sound overly natural, but they don't sound bad kind of thing. It's okay. It's a fine reading that I can get into. And at least the voices are nice. Because, like, it, even if it's just kind of, like, mediocre to fine line reading, if the voice is good, then, like, that kind of saves it a bit. And while the music hasn't really jumped out at me too much, like, uh, once again, at least it's not, like, grading or anything. The music is pretty nice. Fits the world and the vibes going on. And the gameplay seems pretty, pretty good. Again, no idea what the, like, precursor to this gameplay style would be to inspire it and, like, what games this might have inspired. Like I said, kind of remind... Like, the dungeon crawling aspect reminds me of Persona 4. While the kind of auto-attacking without the auto, you have to manually attack. But, so, but like, basic attacking with uh, with skills along the side kind of reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles. I need to play that sometime, too. But, yeah. So far, this is pretty nice, and I can't wait to experience more. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have everything that I do in my link tree linked in there. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. With direct links to it in every bio description and link place that it should be. Inside the link tree are links to my edited content YouTube channel that I'm trying to make more content for this year. As well as links to my Twitch and YouTube streaming for whichever you prefer. And all of these VODs then get uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel. And then if you want to see art that I make, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on the various sites I upload art to. If you want to read stories I'm writing, links to that as well. And for the supremely kind, there is a link to my Patreon, which is basically just a donation bucket currently. But yes, thank you very much, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>